um, uh, because oh, yeah, yeah, you me- you mentioned it uh, because they got uh, out the other day. I think like last. Oh week. yeah, 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 yeah. They, I had a, a chicken catastrophe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. One of them got out, and then yeah, it was a mess. Um, when you run into spaces every day, um, if you can imagine like what you're doing right now, filming. Imagine one of your chickens got out. What are you going to do? You can't stop the stream, right? Oh, and go man. chase your chickens around. I, man, I mean, I lost internet. And uh, I text Strange. I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. Strange. <laughs> yeah, I got no internet. So that's what strange. I would do. Strange. Strange. You, at some point, Strange, at some point, you're going to be like, um, I got to manage the show. He's got to go chase his chickens around his backyard. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hilarious, hilarious. Um, okay, so what about music? What kind of music do you uh, like? Mm. So um, I, funny you should ask, um, I um, was a sound engineer for like, I don't know, eight years in a studio. Um, and I, I basically was the Pro Tools guy back when Pro Tools was a thing. Um, I don't know if it still is. I think everybody switched to Ableton now, but or something along those lines. But um, I was and again. Um, I hooked up with this um, kind of like washed up um, rocker, and um, he pulled me in and said, "Hey, we're moving from these old analog boards onto these uh, Pro Tools." And he's like, "You think you could? <laughs> you think you could learn Pro Tools?" I'm like, "Sure. I mean, I'll try it." But um, I ended up like running the uh, Pro Tools setup in the studio for about eight years. And uh, I started making music myself um, along the, well, this is, yeah, I've been making music pretty much my whole life. But um, but yeah, professionally, I, I ran the Pro Tools. And, and so in the last two years, I released an album. Um, and um, under a pseudonym that I won't say because I don't I don't mix the NFT world with my music world at all. Yeah. That's one thing that you won't pull out of me. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I love it. I love making music, and I, and I do have um, music NFTs. Um, but again, you have to you have to find those. You have to go hard for those. Um, but I'm gonna play something right now. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, that would be hilarious. You, you'd be the Nar, you know who Nardwar is. Yes. Uh, that you, you're giving me Nardwar vibes right now. Yeah, we, we try to quote, we try to straddle that fence. You know what I mean? Like, uh, that's good. I told them I was a little mad. I was like, man, I, I really wish I had more time to really prep it and dig in <laughs> and, and uh, do my research on you a little bit. You know? <laughs> yeah, you, you'll be like. You know Jeremy that you grew up with? I don't think like, he he says that you did this. <laughs> oh man, um, the war is crazy, man. Yeah, he, I don't know how he does it, but he he's amazing. Very dope, very dope. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really into um electronic music, um and um old school hip hop, um and alternative right up uh, your alley man yeah alternative i love right now i'm a well not right now but for a a while i've been a a huge grimes fan um and um and so this the fact that she's in the nft space is even more exciting for me and uh, yeah, it's, I mean, speaking of Strange, uh, he has uh, an NFT, music NFT. He's an artist um, and uh, very talented. Uh, so uh, I got to definitely funnel him um, stuff for me and my group, man. You'll be surprised. Like, you know, one of the, uh, you know, main members of my group, he would be like the RZA of the Wu-Tang, basically. Like, mm-hmm. he, we do everything, man. We're underground hip hop, but he does dance music, electronica. He goes under other names. So one name is Domino Gray. Um, you know, he has all these different aliases depending on what music genre is he can tackle. Um, That's but, amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And then like for hip hop, you know, Wu Tang, especially back in the '90s, man, we were both running around the same spots in 
Manhattan, the Eureka Cafe, Wetlands, Lyricist Lounge, all these places. You know, my group was like a five man group. Wu Tang, they have more than that. But when they would show up places, they would pretty much be a five man group too. Mm-hmm. They were from Staten Island, we were from Long Island, and we're both running up in Manhattan. So a lot of people would get us confused until it was like we started distinguishing ourselves a little bit more once we started doing actual records and not just showing up and ciphering and doing stuff like that. And then when you actually heard the records, it was like, those guys are like, you know, Kung Fu in hip hop. And then when it came to us, they were like, these guys are like sci-fi and rap. Like, you know, we have stories talking about being on a starship. You know, uh, my boy, he's constantly has these like fantasies of being a captain of a starship. So he has a whole lineup and whole series of all types of crazy stuff, man. We really pushed the bar musically, but just like you were saying, um, you got to kind of dig to find our stuff a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everything kind of sort of. That's that's exciting though. I mean, I think, I, I think the cool thing about the NFT world, it, especially when it comes to music is, how freaking open it is like and how early like any any hip-hop artist that would go hard right now is going to be enormously huge like and especially if you start doing collabs with artists and stuff that's what i'm trying to do oh my god i'm it's it's literally it's this is the one thing that excites me to the point where it's like what are people doing why aren't why aren't musicians on this like come on I, what, I, what's going on when me and joe put mine together i literally thought he was doing something wrong when he kept telling me he's like i'm looking for hip-hop artists under opens i don't see anything i'm like no that's impossible you know and over time, you know, you've seen different artists come out with different projects and they'll put them on like exclusive platforms and sites and stuff. But as far as trying to really penetrate OpenSea or uh, what is other Rarible, they have other ones that are more um, royalty and fan base um, oriented. You know, there's a bunch of different platforms coming up and stuff. You're absolutely right, though. Like, it's wide open. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, it's almost to a point where it's like, we can make this be what we want it to be. You know what I mean? Like I didn't like when me and Joe worked on mine, I didn't envision like for me, I come from more just a standard music world where it's like, when you think of visual representation, think of a full blown video, you know, I have people, friends basically that are, you know, the heavy hitters and, you know, hip hop making videos. Like if you're an artist and irrelevant, my guys are probably making your video, but I don't, necessarily want all of that you know what i mean so mm-hmm. and then me and joe were working together we're like what are we gonna what are we gonna do you know and then next thing i know this guy just uses creativity put a little time into it and then boom we have like you know a slideshow more or less type of video that plays along with my song and you know it's it's artistic in its own way and it really showed me how yeah i'm providing the audio art but in a way once he cemented his you know concept of what he visualized my lyrics to be converted into a visual form that's a form of art that belongs to him too and then Mm -hmm. you know the actual cover art that we use that artist someone could buy that just because they like the cover and it looks like you know a poster or whatever else like this stuff has so many layers to it utilities to it it's just it's unbelievable uh, what you guys just said I, I completely agree with, and especially that it's wide open. We're at the start. Strange mention, there, there just is, there. I, I, can't, I can't really find that on OpenSea. I'm sorry to cut you off, Beluga. No, 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 it's exactly. I mean, you think about if you, if you take the, if, if you take the DNA that is um, inside of Strange's brain, right? And you pull out that, I mean, this is just me kind of spitballing. You pull out that 80s um, love that you have. I can, I can feel it when you're talking. And you, you kind of bring that 80s um, packaging into NFTs. And then you put your, your music inside. I don't, I don't know that if your music works with 80s 
icon iconic bleh, sorry um more 90 more 90s okay 90s say you throw you do a collectible that is 90s inspired and then you you have your music embedded in that that's going to be huge i mean just enormously huge and nobody's doing it yet i mean i run the spaces every day we've run it for like i think 70 days or 75 days and we've had five polygon artists that i would say are ready to do nft music out of 700 projects mm. so um and it's like all right it's it's coming you know um i i I worked with one guy early in my NFT career who's kind of like a superstar in the NFT music now. Um, and he, um, I, it, the sky's the limit for him right now, you know, but it's, it's like the cool thing about it, especially on Polygon is you can do whatever you want. I mean, and, and it's not going to cost you a lot of money. I mean, you, you can do airdrops, to your collectors and um and it's it's just the sky is the freaking limit i think polygon is gonna be the standard i know we're just like literally before day one we're so early on when it comes to polygon we're just ridiculous early but i really do think that it, it was built for this application and it's going to be the standard i, I think mm. that right now again uh, beluga i don't know if you follow the uh the actual crypto polygon but um yeah i try i mean i've applied to be an advocate with polygon yeah I, that's my number one holding right now all my my investment budget the large majority of it is going to polygon i think that that's it that's you mean like matic you're, you you yeah yeah i'm sorry that. matic yeah, yeah. okay yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, for sure, I think that this is. Um, I think the you know, beauty. I think the beautiful thing that we're going to see happen is um, it, that people will start breaking boundaries down. Right, um, you won't have to go to the record companies. Not that people even do anymore, but um, and you start. I think the the reason why you would go to a traditional record company is so you can make videos, right? so you could do that but when when you're working in these communities now you, that want to like collab it's it's just like creates this amazing um energy that I'd, i've never i mean i've never been in in the music industry other than running the studio and um but i i just the the universe that we're building is so exciting man it's just I, and I can't wait for the music stuff to take off. I mean, yeah, yeah, absolutely, and, and it will. And speaking of music, uh, Rush Music in the chat, uh, an artist also, and he, uh, I, I know him for many years in real life, and uh, I, I, I want to get him. I want to interview him also on, on the uh, on here, and uh, and you know just give a little a plug, but. You know, he, I reached out to him, uh, like, I forget, two, three weeks ago, or maybe it's been longer. And I sent him a text. I'm like, you know, uh, like, hey, man, we got to catch up. And it, the, the, the whole thing is I want to tell him about um, NFTs and whatnot. I may have mentioned in the text, but I can't remember. But, but yeah, um, definitely maybe there could be some type of collab, you know, some, you know, Beluga, Strange, uh, Rush music, you know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Stuff. Something I'm down. Like I'm down. For, I'm down for anything. Um, I I would I would love to just do. I haven't done music belugas yet, but um, it would I would love to do um a series of belugas that um channel 80s and 90s um imagery. You know <laughs> that would be so fun. Well, what's funny is literally, uh, before we started the stream, Joe sent me the link. For the Zoom, I get on, and what did I tell you I was doing? He was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm literally fleshing out the idea for my NFT collection that I want to do. And it's funny you said that, because that's literally the theme of what my collection was going to be. I was working on over here. 
That's so I don't know, man. Maybe we need to really collab on a couple of different levels, man. We're Absolutely. Same idea. That's like just funny, man. I have names written down already. Like I got all this brainstorm stuff here written down, man. Yeah. I think I think the thing, the the beauty of what you're gonna see is um polygon is where you can like um session out your ideas um and and you don't have to be afraid that you're gonna spend fifteen hundred dollars for a smart contract right yes. and and you can just you can just go crazy and uh and build collection after collection. i've got i've got this one um guy that's in the community and uh he's constantly like second guessing himself and he creates these collections on top of collections and the thing that it really amazes me is like every one he, that he does gets a little better, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's almost like, um, it, it's, it's just this amazing, um, evolution that I'm seeing right before my very eyes. Um, but if you think about a collection, um, as being an album, we'll say, mm -hmm. and you, and you could do your, you could record and put those, um, collections out there and just like once once you get that collection done you just move on to the next collection like it's an album and um and you could just have a totally different feeling or whatnot I mean, you know? everything could switch up yeah mm -hmm. we're seeing yep. it, man. yeah it's, it's really incredible and if you collab with people it's so easy just to add them as collaborators and just you know when you get sales you just you know split the split the fees and you know you're good to go that's it so um so beluga mm -hmm. i i uh i i want to, i i know we mentioned the uh, we're gonna go an hour and a half but uh, an hour to an hour and a half but it, you know it's, it's been uh we've been engrossed in this uh conversation um but i i want i want to go at least 10 more minutes Mm -hmm. I, I really have a, a few questions that I am very curious to, to hear your answer. So if you were going to uh, travel in time, jump in that, you know, DeLorean, throw on the flux capacitor, and you're going to go to three points of, of time, one before you were born to go and see, experience something, and then something while you were, while you've been alive, you know, time mm -hmm. period there, and then one in the future that you're expecting to happen. So three. Oof. Um, so, <laughs> um, it depends on how I could outfit myself. Um, so would I have to, how would that, let me, let me ask a question about the question. Am I going to be, am I going to be safe either way? You're going to be completely safe. You're going to okay. have okay. a force field around you and, and everything. Okay, good, good. All right. So that's easy. A whenever it was and i don't know how many years ago this would have been i would have gone back to see the dinosaurs straight up like straight up i want to see a, I want to see a brontosaurus yeah stegosaurus um, brontosaurus yeah. yeah so that was e that's easy um it, since i've been alive um i would go back um to 1989 no 1998 that is very specific yeah. and and do i get to take everything i know back with me yes okay oh, but okay you're trying to pull a bit from back to future That's i know what you're doing yeah. <laughs> pull a bit. yeah so i would go back to 1998 um and that is well yeah well now i take that back i'd go back to 2010 and that is when I made some very bad decisions about a relationship that I was in mm. and, uh, and it's been a 12 year play out of disaster from that. Uh, yeah. and I would like to repair a couple of bad things that I said. Um, so, uh, 2010 would have been me fixing problems that I created in 2010. Um, so that's pretty dark, but yeah. Um, but that's where I would go. And then the future, um, God, the future's scary, dude. 
<laughs> um, because like I'm, I'm afraid to say what could you know if if Elon Musk is right and we're just going to turn into gray goo then um, I don't know that I want to go into too too far in the future um, I think oh god what would I be really excited about in the future I think it would be um, when we when we met aliens right oh hell yeah that's a good one i yeah. like that i i think what i would like to see if i was safe is the day humanity comes in contact with aliens and i want to see the people on top of like the buildings like doing their like independence day dance and then all of them, and stuff. Yeah. yeah i think that's what i would do yeah okay very dope so very dinosaurs fixing a failed relationship and aliens that sums my personality up right there <laughs> <laughs> all right so um something embarrassing that you are willing to share with us that oh god you know, like you gave us one earlier which one was that I'm, i mean my whole life is an embarrassment <laughs> <laughs> um uh yeah let me think yeah, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of embarrassing, I have an embarrassing moment pretty much every day in spaces. I'm, I'm not the, I should not be doing what I do every day, right? You know, I just shouldn't because I'm not um, socially um, in that, uh, socially whatever to, like to put do. together. Yeah, I'm like a, I'm like a mad scientist right. that somebody has decided to put into a twitter spaces every day um but it works right i think right. maybe maybe it is my um sloppiness that is my real people can right. relate to it you I don't know, know right that's it tells you where we are as a people we've been deprived so long of real individuals that are like us and we've been fed propped up fake people that they want us to emulate and be like and that's not really right. who we are <laughs> yeah right. exactly Man. so 